The persistent bottom sheet is useful if you want to show some additional information to the user, which doesn't fit anymore on the screen. Specifically, we will create a question guide where the user can answer some questions. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's create our bottom sheet by going to the build method to our scaffold and here inside you have a property which is called bottom sheet and here we want to create then a bottom sheet widget. Inside the bottom sheet that we want to create we have a title and also two buttons close and confirm. Therefore we put within our bottom sheet three properties inside, first of all the title and secondly also two callbacks for our buttons. And now we create this bottom sheet widget and here inside we put then exactly these properties inside of our constructor. And then we want to create the content of our bottom sheet, first of all the title and then also here these both buttons. Therefore we go to the build method and here we create a column to display multiple widgets under each other. And secondly we wrap some padding around so that we have later some space around our widgets. And now we want to create here our first widget which is then a text widget and here we put then this widget title inside which is later our question. And now if you hot restart you will see we have here this bottom sheet with our title already inside. Under it we want to display our buttons, therefore I create a new method build buttons and here inside I basically put then a row inside to display multiple buttons next to each other and we want to create here one button which says close and we also want to put here this on press handler inside so if we click on this button then we call here exactly this callback which we have put inside before. And the same thing we also do for our other button, here we create then a second button which is confirm and we also create here this on pressed handler and this time we call then this on clicked confirm which is here our other callback. And with this we have created here two buttons and later if we click on them then we can add the functionality within our main file. Next we want to create here our question guide and every time if we click on the confirm button then we want to go to the next question. To achieve this we go to our state and here we create then a list of questions and we also create a question index which is by default zero which means that we later select then the first question out of our questions list. Every time if our question index is minus one then we want to hide our bottom sheet because we don't display any question anymore and therefore we check here if the question is not minus one then we display our bottom sheet otherwise we display here nothing and return null. And secondly we want to put here every time our question inside which we determine over our question index. And now if I hot reload you see we have here the question inside and if I click on confirm then we want to go to the next question. To achieve this we go to the on clicked confirm handler and here every time if we click on this button then we want to increment our question index so that we go then to the next question. And now if I click here on confirm you see we go to the next question and if we reach the last question then we want to hide here our bottom sheet. To hide our bottom sheet we simply need to fulfill here this condition so we want to set our question index to minus one so that it returns here a null value. And therefore we go here to our unclicked confirm and here inside we add then the condition if we reached here our last question then we want to set our question index to minus one. And now I can try it out, I click here on confirm and you see he is then hiding our bottom sheet. And we also want to implement here this close button so if we click on this then he can close at any time the bottom sheet. And to achieve this we go to our on click close handler and here inside we basically set then the question index to minus one and also make sure that you wrap here the set state around so that the UI gets updated. Let's also try this out so I click here on close and you see the bottom sheet will disappear. Next we want to make it even more interesting so we want to include here also some options at the bottom which the user can select and then he can click on confirm to go to the next question. Therefore we go to our state and here we create then a list of list string and here we basically have every time a list of options for all of our questions. And these options we want to include then within our bottom sheet and here every time over our question index we access then here the option of our question list. Let's also go to our bottom sheet widget and here inside we want to include then our list of options also within our constructor. 
And now we want to build all of these options here under our question. To achieve this, we go to our build method and here under our question, we want to display then our options. And therefore I create here a wrap widget with which you can display multiple widgets next to each other. And here we want to create then for all of our options a widget and therefore I map over them and for each of them we create then a chip. And now we want to create this build chip method to actually create one option. Therefore let's create here this build ship method and here inside we basically determine first of all if our ship is selected or not. And we do this because we want to show here every time the selected option and we can also change then the option and this should be always displayed here differently with a different background color and like you can see the foreground color is also white instead of black. And therefore I have also created within the state a selected option field where we always store the current selected option inside. Next we want to determine then the foreground color of our ship and if it is selected then we want to show a white foreground color otherwise we show a black foreground color. And this is basically the text color so here it is black if it is not selected and white if it is selected. And the same thing we do now for the background color. Here we want to set then a red color if it is selected and a white color if it is not selected. Therefore let's also add here the background color. So if it is selected we take here this red color from our theme and otherwise we take here a white color. And now let's also build here our ship and therefore I basically create here a text and inside of the text we put then our option text inside. And we also want to put within our text style then the foreground color inside and you can also set here a background color for your ship. And now if you hot reload you see we have here all of our options inside which are displayed as ships. If you tap on another ship you also want to select this other ship and therefore we want to wrap here a gesture detector around and every time if we tap then on our ship then we want to put our current option to the selected option in our state. And now if you click here on another ship you also see that the selection changes. And if you want to enhance the style a bit then you can also include here the stadium border and here inside you can then set a border around your button which I set then to this red color and now you see that all of our buttons have here this border around. And here inside you can then set a border around your button which I set then to this red color and now you see that all of our buttons have here this border around. And with this you have here this bottom sheet where you always can select an option and then you can click on confirm to go to the next question. If you then reached the end you can click on confirm and your bottom sheet will disappear. And we also want to include here again a button so that if we click on it then we show our bottom sheet again. To achieve this we go to our main file and here within our scaffold body property we want to include then an elevated button and here we put then some icon and a label open sheet inside and if we click on this button then we want to actually set our question index to zero and this will make sure that our bottom sheet is then again displayed. So let's try it out. I click here on open sheet and you see the bottom sheet is again opened and if I click again close then it is closed. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description and with the second link you can get access to my Flutter courses where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!